The goals I had in mind when creating the aqueduct were to create a challenging par 4 with a lot of long-term variety and also the opportunity for a few crazy shot of the week moments. The way I achieved most of these goals was by incorporating an ancient Roman aqueduct as the main feature of the hole. Shots can be played under, through, or over the top of this structure. The structure itself as well as the water running on top of it are the main defenses of this hole but there is also a greenside bunker to catch any wayward shots and a small stream running down the middle of the valley. The green itself is designed as an up three right four and is pretty large, 175 feet deep and 150 feet wide at its widest. A lot of variety of this hole was created by incorporating five tee boxes. Each of the five tee boxes provides a unique challenge. The front box can play as short as 185 yards. The challenge here is that it might play too short to have an easy shot to reach the green. The next two tee boxes are up the hillside at an elevation almost as high as the aqueduct. From these boxes, the hole can play as short as 250 yards and as long as 430 yards. But even at that, because of the elevation, the green will be reachable. The fourth tee box is closer, but because it's back down in the valley, will likely require a shot through or under the aqueduct. The last tee box can be a bear, most likely playing over 400 yards. It is actually at a lower elevation in the valley, but this is done to provide a ramp in the fairway which could give you the extra distance you need to reach the green on your first shot.